I am Iron Man. Na -na 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 -na. Iron Man. Who really knows the words? Not me, obviously. <laughs> Hey guys and dolls, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial inspired by the new Iron Man movie. I know it's been out for a couple weeks. Um, I, I suck at doing things on time when they like first come out or whatever. I don't want to give away any plot points, but it was actually better than I thought. I really like Gwyneth Paltrow. I think she's lovely. When I sat down to kind of play with makeup today, this is what came out. And I'm really happy with the result. I hope you guys like it as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to go over some of the things that I do as prep work that I don't always talk about when I'm, you know, doing tutorial. I usually just, like, start out with primer. Um, so the first thing is I put on moisturizer. This is the Josie Moran, or is it Josie Moran or Josie Marin? It looks like Josie Moran to me, so that's what I'm saying. It's the Broad Spectrum SPF 40. It's a little sample bottle that I got when I bought my Clarisonic, and I love the smell of it, and it really gives my skin, like, a nice hydrated glow. Like, it's very glowy right now. Next, I use my lip balm. This is the Jack Black uh, Black Tea and Blackberry SPF 25. You can tell I'm all about the SPF my products. Then I applied a hand cream. This is the Votrevue, um Tarte Diamond. Fancy. It just smells really good and I like that it's non-greasy. And then to set the mood, I lit a watermelon lemonade candle from Bath & Body Works. If you have not smelled this, you just need to. It's divine design. And I'm starting out with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is a really great, uh, very thin textured primer. You know, not all eye primers are created equally. They all do basically the same thing, but they all have slightly different textures. I used way too much of this. But anyway, um, I like this one because it is a nice, thin texture, and I like using this one when I'm going to be using other bases because it, you know, because it's thinner, it's not going to, like, give me this gunky buildup on my eyes. I'm going to take the OCC Conceal in R0 and a little flat brush like this and a little bit of that on a little, bring my mirror closer so I can see, zoom it in so you guys can see. I'm just going to pat this underneath my eyebrow and this will sort of clean up any little baby hairs that I have and then also it'll just add a little bit of lightness since R0 is just a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone. And then I'll just bring my finger over it to sort of blend it out. The warmth of my finger will just help it just melt into the skin. Now because I'm going to be using very warm colors today, I want to take a warm transitional shade. This is Buck from Urban Decay. And I'm going to rock that in my socket line. You can see the difference here where I've used Buck on this side and not on this side. And here we see a little bit more of a hooded eyelid, whereas with this one it seems like I have a little bit more of depth in the socket line. Also, Buck is a really great natural color for me because as you can see, the skin tone looks similar. I just have more depth on this side. The next product that I'm going to use is a gel liner from Makeup Geek. This is called Poison. And in the jar, it's a nice, like, oxblood burgundy. On the skin, it's much more red. To apply this, I'm using the E16 Tight Liner Brush from Sigma. And I'm just sort of following the natural curve of my eye here at first. And then I'm going to bring that along the bottom, almost creating like a sort of unfinished triangle. Next, I'm taking the E55 from the Sigma Vegan Bunny Brush Collection. And I'm just going to soften that whole area, just kind of smudge it out. And then we're going to do something very similar to the outer corner, but with more of a rounder edge. So I'll take this, kind of make a little C. And then again, start to flirt that into the lid. I'm going to take that a little bit higher. I really like this brush because it's synthetic, and so it helps to blend stubborn things like gel liner out really well. You just want to keep that nice and soft. So I'm going to start in with some red eyeshadow. This is Sugar Pills Love Plus, a nice, super bright, intense matte red. So I'm going to place that right over where we have the gel liner. Sort of pack it on. And I'm using a MAC 239 brush. Just kind of pat it on a little circular motion in the outer corner. I'm going to take a little bit more of Love Plus with a fluffy brush. Make that nice and flirty. Because you know, red eyeshadow is very flirty. Just make it nice and blended on the outer corner. And because this red tends to go just a little bit on the pink side, I'm going to introduce a slightly more orange tinted red eyeshadow. This is Catch from Sigma. 
and I'm just going to blend that in, make everybody friendly. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. And then I'm just going to take what's left on the brush and lightly sweep over between the two sides. Now I'm going to start with the awesome, awesome, awesome gold. This is, this is falling on my makeup table is what it is. Now I'm going to start in with the Makeup Geek Pigment in Liquid Gold. And can we just take a moment? Yeah, it's awesome. I literally bought this pigment because I was like, I'm going to do an Iron Man tutorial with that. I'm going to take a flat brush and a little bit of Fix Plus. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Liquid Gold pigment from the cap, tap off the excess. And I'm going to start patting that in the center of the lid. And I don't want to create too round of a shape with this. I really want this to be like a little line of gold that will blend into the red. A nice saturation of color right there in the center. I'm going to flip the brush over to the drier side and start to whisper that into the red. You don't want to go in full Monty and just like start blending like crazy. You just want to feather, whisper, flirt, you know, all these cute little words. You just want to lightly blend it over. And on camera, it's looking like really green. It is kind of a green tinted gold, like an antique gold sort of shade, uh, which is why I like it because I have my little Iron Man helmet here. And his is more, this is more like a brown antique gold, but I like the brighter. I think it's more fun. I'm using the same brush I had Love Plus earlier and I picked up a little bit of Catch from Sigma and I'm going to use that to transition between the gold and the red. Take the brush for the gold and blend. So I want to introduce just a little bit of a darker element in the outer corner, so I'm going to take Bulletproof Eyeshadow from Sugar Pill. And this is a Royal and Langnickel BX80 brush. It's a nice fluffy, uh, like, like a flat shader fluffy. It's kind of like a 239 and a 217 from MAC Had a Baby. Place that on in the outer corner, almost like a little stamp stamp it on right there and then we're going to use my blending brush to blend imagine that and then we're just going to do a little swirly circly motions and I know I'm like using like a million brushes for this but bear with me I'm going to take a very small shader brush this one's from um V's favorite brushes unfortunately it doesn't have a number on it and a little bit of bulletproof so right there in that inner tear duct this brush from earlier and blur it into the rest of the red. To highlight my eye today, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Venus Eyeshadow. I'm going to place this color right under the eyebrow and then share the love all over. So for my liquid liner today, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Perversion. I'm going to do a line of black across the lash line. So now it's time for the cleanup crew. I'm going to start out with a dry Q-tip and go along the outer edge here and just sort of blur out any where the, where the shadow like got a little too far, too far down. Then I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to clean up a little bit where the red eye shadow kind of got away from me a little too far in than what I had wanted to do. And you'll notice that I'm wiping this from the top down because if I were to go the other way then you could potentially get red you know higher up than you want to go. The majority of my foundation routine I'm going to skip because it's the exact same thing I've done in my last several videos um, but I do want to mention that when you're using red eyeshadows it's so important to use concealer because if you have all like like the red fallout and everything underneath your eyes uh, it just makes you look really tired and that's not really the desired effect for a Iron Man look um, so I'm just taking a little bit of the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer under my eye 
and blending that out with a beauty blender sponge. And I look nice and awake and not tired. I'm just going over my brows with a little bit of brow gel. I don't really want them to be like crazy or anything. I just want them to be nice and groomed. Now to line my inner rims today, I'm using the Anastasia Covet Waterproof Liner in Noir. A lot of you have been asking me for a good, really long lasting black liner. I really like this one. It's a little bit drier than like some of the more buttery liners that are on the market now. But because it's a little drier, it also doesn't like act funny with my contacts. And I find that it lasts pretty long. Go ahead and put that in my inner rims. I know this is so awesome to watch someone else do. So we're just gonna cut that off right now. Now I'm taking Scorch Pencil from Urban Decay, which is sort of like a bronzy gold. And I'm going to place that right along the lower lash line, like so. And then I'm going to take a very small eyeshadow brush and a little bit of the liquid gold shadow from earlier and I'm just going to place that over smog or scorch I'm sorry if I said smog I meant scorch and I'm just going to place that over very carefully I'm not really going to apply a lot of mascara I just want my lashes to be black because I have blonde eyelashes Okay, so the lashes that I'm using today are from Daiso. They're the number eight, and I'm also using a black lash glue that I also got at Daiso. And I'm just going to place that first in the center of my lash line. I'm just taking a little bit of El Dorado liquid liner, and I'm putting it right here on this inner corner. So a little sparkle. For blush today I'm going to use one of my favorites. This is the Cargo Blu-ray blush. This is the pink one. There's a peach one and this one. I wish they'd do more because they're my favorites. I love the texture. And I'm just using a Hakahoto brush to apply this. Here on the apple of my cheeks. Nice and sweet. For lips, I want to do something really bright but matte because I don't want anything shiny because my, you know, my eyes are like, pow! So I'm using the Tarte Lip Surgeon's the Natural Matte Lip Stain. I think it's time for break now. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Pow! And then just to clean up the lines, I'm going to use Cherry Lip Liner from MAC. Ended up just filling in the entire lip line with Cherry. So there you have it. There is my Iron Man makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and give my video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. See you. Bye. Hi guys and dolls, today I'm going to be sharing with you some secrets and tips on how to cover textured acne or kind of rough acne, uh, any kind of lip acne, let's face it, those are really horrible. Why are the ones around the lip like always so painful? I should be telling you guys, never, never ever pop a zit. We're all guilty of it.